So when it comes to the Joy-Con, Nintendo really hasn't done that much. Yeah, we've got some neon colors and a few special editions here and there, but the options are really few and far between. That is, unless you're willing to do it yourself. What's up guys, so happy to see you again today and welcome to a video that I probably shouldn't be making. If you watched my last video like this, which I'll link up here so you can check out if you haven't, but if you watched that video, you know that I was afraid to put a skin on my gray switch light. Now it worked out. Everything ended up fine, I got it on, I didn't have to peel it back off, I didn't have to throw it away or anything like that. It's still on there, I think it looks great. Well, for the most part, I kind of messed a few parts up, but it's fine. Anyway, so we're gonna try that again, but we're gonna take it to the next level. I honestly do not know how this is gonna go. This could really actually end up destroying one or both of these Joy-Cons. So after that video went up, I was actually contacted by a company called Extreme Rate. So they actually make Joy-Con shells and replacement buttons. But not only just for the Joy-Cons, they make shells for the Pro Controller, the Xbox Controller, PlayStation Controller, and a whole lot more. So I'll leave a link below where you can check out all their stuff, and I will also leave a direct link to the shells that I am going to be attempting to put on in this video. But I do have to be honest with you guys, when they first reached out to me, I said no. And that's not because of anything that has to do with them. Mostly just because I really don't have the confidence that I'm going to be able to do this successfully. I can't think of a few times where I've taken things apart like this in the past. One of those times was an iPhone 4 and it never went back together. Another time I had to take a camera lens apart one time because the zoom was stuck and that also never went back together. I mean who knows I could get lucky and third time could be a charm or these can be added to the pile of things that I've taken apart and never go back together. Only time will tell. But I did end up changing my mind and I reached back out to them and they sent over a few things I'll let you guys check out here in a second. But I figured, you know, why not? If I completely destroy a set of Joy-Cons, at least it'll be funny for you guys to watch. So with all that said, please leave a like on this video, and if you are not, make sure you get subscribed so we can reach that 600 subscriber mark by the end of February. One week in, it looks like we're actually on pace to possibly do that, so for those of you who have subscribed, I definitely appreciate it. If you haven't, it's right down there, it's red, it's very easy to spot. Go ahead, I'll give you a second. If we do hit that, I'm gonna try to get a giveaway going for you guys, but without any more delay, let's destroy some Joy-Cons. All right, I'm gonna move the mic over just a little bit so you guys can see what I got going on here. Actually, before I show you this stuff, I wanna show you something else I did that I think is actually gonna end up helping me out a ton. Now, I don't know if it's gonna show up on this camera up here, but I put a piece of tape across here with the sticky side up and then I've taped it down on each end. That way, what I plan to do is when I take screws out, I'm gonna go ahead and stick them right here. That way they don't fall off the table and I can keep them in groups like that. Okay, so I wanna run through what they sent me because I actually didn't get just one set. I kinda wanted to do my own thing, so I had them send me pieces and I'm gonna kinda take from each set and just make my own. So the first thing we'll start with here is I'll open up the front panels of the Joy-Cons that I'm actually gonna be using. I got these NES style ones because I, I really like the way they look, being that matte black, and I love the red buttons. Now the only problem with the red buttons is this kit doesn't come with red buttons for everything. It's just the face buttons. And I kinda wanted red buttons for the shoulder buttons as well. So they actually ended up sending me these red buttons that they had in stock. And they're more of like a deeper metallic red but I, I think they're gonna look good. I still think they're gonna look really good. Hopefully you guys can see those in the camera up there. I mean, obviously I'm gonna have some B-roll and stuff, so you'll definitely be able to check them out closer after I'm done, if everything goes together, that is. Now, one other thing I did wanna change is the back of these is actually gray, and that is to match the back plate for the actual Switch unit that looks like the top of an old school NES. Now, I think that design is cool, but it's not really something I'm going for. So I actually had them send me the full flat black kit. So what I'm gonna do is use the back for the actual Switch unit here. I'm gonna use the backs of these shells here because it's actually the same matte black paint. Okay, so I'm gonna get all the pieces that I actually need out onto the table, and then what I don't, I'm going to move over to the side here so I can try to keep this area clean.
Okay, so we're gonna start with the left one because actually, believe it or not, this time I did do some research and it looks like the left one is a little bit easier. It doesn't have the IR sensor on the bottom and then there's another piece, I'm not really sure what it is. It might be a little difficult to move, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one first. And depending on how long this takes or if I even get through this one at all, this might be the only one I actually put on camera. But we'll see, I don't know yet. We'll just have to see how this goes. And one other thing before we get started, I do not intend this to be a tutorial in any way. This is strictly for entertainment. So if you're looking for guidance on how to do this, you're definitely in the wrong place. But again, stick around, this this could be hilarious. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty nervous about this, I'm not gonna lie. Do I have the right screwdriver? Now all these kits they sent me actually did come with full sets of screws. So if I lose anything, I've got a ton of extras. And they actually also came with the springs that go in the shoulder buttons too. I was pretty surprised about that. The kits themselves look like they're very high quality. All right, there's the four on the back out. Oh, and one more thing before we go any further. In case it's not obvious, Extreme Rate is not paying me for this. They did send these over for free. I just thought it would be a fun video to do for you guys. Okay. The screws are out. sure which way it's supposed to come out though wait oh 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 open sesame oh god <laughs> this might be a bad idea okay i'm going to attempt to unplug the battery that was successful battery is unplugged that'll do it this one screw holds this whole thing in here Oh, the button just flew out. Oh, uh, we're off to a great start. Really need some tweezers. Let me let me see if I can find some tweezers. Real quick. Okay, no tweezers. We're gonna have to make this work. Um, I do have this little knife, and all I really need is just something to pop these little connectors out. So, I don't know. Hopefully, it'll work. This has to come out now too. I forget how the ZL button comes out. Oh, something popped. Oops, don't know if that's right, but something's popping. Whoa! Okay. That's out. Keep picking up the wrong screwdriver. I need to get this one out of the way. Ugh. This is awful. This is so awful. What's holding this down? It's this one. And this one as well? So it's three screws, or is it two? I, I, I can't tell. Okay, well that's loose now. Okay, it was both of those two, so that takes three. I'm gonna end up having to go back and watch this video to figure out how to put this thing back together. I can see that happening. I'm gonna set this here so I know that that goes with that piece. Well, this new piece, but that's the piece. Uh, this is really hard to do without tweezers. I probably should've, uh, probably should've got some tweezers. I don't think this knife is actually gonna be safe for that. Okay, I'm leaving that there because if I don't, I won't remember where it goes. Whoo, okay, the rail is out. I'm gonna go ahead and move it over. Wait, how do I change those buttons? Oh, I forgot about those buttons. Okay, I'm, mm. oh, that wasn't in the video. Okay, I see two screws here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that it's these two screws. Okay, it looks like these just pop out. This should not be too difficult. Oh no, what was that? Okay, that was this little thing. Where did it come from? Ah, oh, I see. I see. All good. All good. Seems right. Okay. Okay, let's check it out. Oh yeah. All right, so we've got a little bit of progress here. That's not, uh, not terrible. And now we need to transfer all of this to here. Let's go with the joystick now and see if we can get that out of there. Not with this screwdriver. How many times am I gonna pick that thing up? This is this is where I'm really, really starting to get nervous here. Okay, a little adhesive there on the rumble motor. I'm gonna leave all this plugged in and just pretty much like quick transfer this over so I don't lose anything and don't mess it up. I think that's probably gonna be my best option just so I don't screw anything up royally. All right, there it is. All these buttons actually have little grooves on them and they're all different, so they only go in in one way. So that makes it a little easier. And in. Ooh, yeah. I like the way that red looks. 
Looks nice. Now I need to line the motherboard up, which it looks like I have done. If you're gonna do this, a pair of tweezers is absolutely necessary. This job would probably be a thousand times easier if I had a pair of tweezers. Okay. Buttons seem to press fine. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the joystick back in there now. And two. Oh no. Oh, we got a big problem. That little spacer thing is hanging out the front. That's not, that can't be good. I'm sitting here looking at this with no tweezers and trying to figure out how I'm gonna get these ribbon cables back in where they're supposed to go. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, oh, oh. In, maybe. Not in, at least on the right track to being there. Okay, I think that one's in. That one's for the joystick, I believe. I believe it is in. It looks decent, right? I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Maybe I'll see it better from this camera. Yeah, I mean, it looks, it looks good. Now, how did this go in there? <laughs> oh, this is a mess. Okay, nope. Yep, okay, that's right. Whew, okay, let's start getting some ribbon cables reconnected. I think these ones are actually gonna be a little bit easier. I can actually get a hold of them. Maybe. Okay, yeah, that just sits right there, right? No, no, no! Yep, well, never finding that. Did I mention they give you extra parts? That's great. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm super happy about that. Hopefully that thing doesn't fly out again. Okay, uh, what's next, what's next, what's next? I think I can go ahead and start putting... Oh, that's upside down. Okay, this way. Pretty sure this can go on there now. That was a loud crunch. All we have to do now is put the three screws back in to hold this middle plate and then pop the battery back in and deal with the trigger button, which I... The trigger button looks like it's the hardest part. And I have screws in the wrong place. I wish you guys would have told me that earlier. I can't get over this awful feeling that when I put this battery back in, there's not gonna be any lights going right there. Bad feeling about that. We've definitely got some screws in the wrong place. There is no... <laughs> No question about that at this point. But I think it I think it's still gonna hold just fine. That one was supposed to go. Never mind. It doesn't matter. So the trick is to get these two springs stay in place while you looks like bring this from the top and kind of like push it in and down. But you have to keep the springs on their little grooves, which Already just sounds pretty much impossible because I can't even see where they're at. Oh, I think I almost had it. Okay, if you guys can't see this, I'm sorry. I I'm, I'm trying to trying to keep it so you can see it, but at the same time, that's pretty much impossible at this point. Oh, I got it. I got it. All right, time for the battery. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, it works. Whoa, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put these other four screws in here and then we'll go ahead and check it out. Okay, so I've got everything together here. It works. Everything works fine except the L button is a little sticky. I don't know quite what's going on. I think I may have the screws too tight because at first the ZL button wouldn't press either and I, I did loosen these two screws up and now it's, it's perfect. It feels like a normal Joy-Con. So I'm gonna get in there I'm gonna fix the L button, cause I, I think I think it's just something a little bit out of place that I can probably get in there real fast and fix. I'm gonna do the other one off camera, I'm gonna do the back, and then we're gonna fast forward in time and I'm gonna show you B-roll of all of it right now. Hey guys, so uh, about that B-roll. Um, yeah, there's none. I screwed up pretty bad. So after I stopped filming last night, I went to take the Joy-Con that I finished apart to fix the L button. And when I did, I actually ended up stripping out two of the tri-wing screws on the back panel. So as of right now, that one is stuck closed. But then I thought, well, I can change the rest of the stuff out and still do the B-roll and just fix it later. But then I also ended up stripping out one of the screws on the back of the switch unit itself. So now that's also stuck on. After that, I decided I'm just gonna put all this on hold. It was like one o'clock in the morning. 
I think I just needed to go to sleep. But I plan on going back to it tonight and trying to get everything finished. But I didn't want to let that hold the video up. So I have to say, <laughs> this one was definitely a fail. But it's no fault of Extreme Rate, it's definitely mine. Once I get the screws out, I can actually use the ones that they gave me to replace the ones that I screwed up. And I'll probably just do some updates on my Instagram or something like that with uh, like a B-roll clip or maybe some pictures, something like that. So make sure you guys go follow me on there. I'll leave a link down below. Okay, so I'll get you guys back into the video now. Unfortunately, this was definitely a fail, but don't tell that guy because he still doesn't know. Okay guys, well that was obviously very interesting. Huge thanks to Extreme Rate for sending out the shells. I think they look great. It was way, way harder than I even expected, and I expect it to be pretty hard. But anyway guys, that is all I have for this one. One more time, just wanna give a big shout out to Extreme Rate. I'm gonna have all their links down below. Thank you so much for sending out the shells. Uh, I definitely appreciate it. Okay, hopefully this video is not too long. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video. Make sure you subscribe. We are going for 600 subscribers by the end of February, and we will see you in the next one.